Yeah, come on up, bud. I'm not coming up. I'm not coming up. You're going to have to shoot me. You're going to have to shoot you? Yeah, you're going to have to shoot me. All right, come on up, man. No. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah, you're going to have to shoot me. No, you don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. I don't care. You're going to have to shoot me. You don't want to do that. Come look. You're going to have to shoot me. No, we're not. You're going to have to shoot me. We're not playing this game. You're going to have to sh fucking shoot me. Dude, let's just have a conversation. I'm gonna, oh, let's have a conversation. Oh, so I can arrest you. Suck my dick. You're going to have to shoot me to arrest me. Suck my dick. Put the knife down, boy. Suck, I'm not putting shit down. Put the knife shoot down. Me. Shoot me. Shoot me and run up on me. Shoot me and run up on me. That's exactly how it's going to go. You either going to shoot me or you're going to run up on me. Put, put the knife down. You're going to have to shoot me or you're going to run up on me. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. It's going. It's going. It's going. Mike, step out. Step out. Mike, step out. Step out. Step out. Mike, drop the knife, man. Step out. Mike. Mike, open up the door. It's your last chance, man. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tillman with another Tillman's Take. So what I want to do is I want to debrief a situation that comes to us out of Connecticut and actually happened a couple weeks ago. So officers show up to a house where a lady called the police and said it's probably her ex-boyfriend or her current boyfriend that is in violation of her protective order and he won't leave the location. So as officers show up to the situation, they are immediately confronted by the guy at the door and you can see he is very, very verbally combative with them. He's also telling them, hey, I'm not leaving or you're going to have to shoot me. And so you can see as the video continues on, one of the worst things that happens in this situation is a suspect goes to grab a knife that's in the kitchen. That now immediately escalates the situation to another level. And so the officers actually do a really, really good job of trying to de-escalate the situation, trying to stay calm, trying to get the guy to put the knife down. But you can see he's not going for it. He continues to escalate the situation saying, hey, you're either going to have to leave or you're going to have to shoot me. And so this continues on for several minutes. Now, another bad situation that actually happens in this video is that the guy is actually able to close the door in the officer's face. And so when that happens, the officers now have to make a decision. They have to make a decision as to, do we want to go in this house where there could potentially be somebody inside? And as we all know, it was a call for service from a lady who said that somebody's in violation of a protective order. And now you might have a hostage situation on your hands if you don't go inside. Or are we going to just wait outside, do a surrounding call out, and then call in the crisis negotiators and the SWAT team? But sometimes you may not have that amount of time on your hands. So in this situation, the officer said, hey, you know what? We're going to go in there. We're going to try to apprehend the suspect. So as they kick the door open, they go and make entry into this house. And now you see the suspect now retreats to another back room. Again, this is even more scary because now you don't know who's in the back room. Is his girlfriend back there? Is there children back there? Is this going to turn into a hostage situation? So I give the officers credit because you can see one of them has their gun out or a couple of them have their gun out and one also has the taser out, a less lethal option. They are attempting to de-escalate the situation. However, the suspect continues to press the situation. And so the officers go to kick the door open. And as you can see, as they're kicking the door open, you can still hear the suspect saying, you're going to have to shoot me. You're going to have to shoot me. Now, if you haven't noticed already in this video, this is a suicide by cop situation. One of the most dangerous because you don't know how finicky the suspect is going to be. You don't know if he's doing this for show or you don't know if he's seriously committed to ending his life. And so as they kick that door open, you can see as soon as it gets open, one of the officer attempts to use uh, his taser. Now, I want to stop and pause right here for a second because I want to highlight something. We all, you know, know that the taser very is a very, very effective tool. And, you know, we've used a taser on many people and has many Many very successful situations when we've used it. However, we can't always become over reliant on the taser because the taser may not be as effective sometimes. There are certain situations where the taser may not be effective. There's one is if the suspect is wearing thick or heavy clothing, sometimes those darts can't penetrate the clothing. The other situations are if the darts don't make a proper connection on the human body, 
then again, you're not going to have a successful deployment. The other one is maybe the suspect may be on some type of drugs, PCP, who knows, and they may not even feel any of the, the effects of the taser. So that's another situation where it may not be effective. In this situation, you can see that the suspect had thick clothing on, and therefore, when they deployed that taser, it was ineffective. And now that actually escalated the situation just a tad bit more because now that suspect still has a knife in his hand, and now he attempts to charge at officers. Once he charges the officers, the officers obviously make the appropriate decision and have to use lethal force on them. So once they use lethal force, they are able to, you know, successfully stop the threat that he's posing to the officers and anybody else in the house. And now they try to go into life-saving measures. So the big takeaways from this video is I want you guys to realize the close quarters that they were in and the situation where those officers had to make a split second decision. You know, I often do videos and I often do scenarios with uh, people in real life talking about the split seconds, the split second decision that officers have to make. Well, here's a prime example of one. They had to make a split second decision on how they were going to stop this threat and they, they chose lethal force. The other thing I want to highlight is just how difficult our job can be. Now, a couple weeks ago, I posted a video where officers, you know, actually shot a suspect who was also, you know, threatening suicide by a cop, but it was def definitely an unjustifiable shoot um, because you had sympathetic fire. Well, this is the exact opposite. The officers tried everything they could to de-escalate the situation. However, their efforts were unsuccessful and unfortunately they did have to use lethal force. Now, I, again, officers we have such a terrible job sometimes when we have to deal with situations like this and the other thing that people don't recognize is that when we do take somebody's life it doesn't just stop there those officers have to live with that decision every single day of their life even though it was a justified situation even though it was a justified shooting it doesn't necessarily make it any easier that those officers have to live with the fact that they took another person's life so there's so many people affected by this the the girlfriend that called the police the suspect that's affected as well as the officers and their mental and emotional stability and so so I just wanted to highlight a few of those things as we debrief some of these critical situations that officers are put in on a daily basis. Thanks again, for guys, for tuning in to this latest Tillman Take. If you guys have any feedback, DM me, uh, or if you have any other recommendations for any other videos, just shoot, uh, reach out to me. Thanks again, and God bless.